Inside Out 2 was directed by Kelsey Mann and the stars Everyone. And this movie takes place one year after the events of Inside Out. In this movie, we have Riley, who's 13 years old. She's a teenager. And now we go back to Riley headquarters where we reunite with our original um where we reunite with the original characters from the first movie and that is joy sadness anger fear and disgust and now until one day these until one day riley headquarters has more room and more room for new emotions and these new emotions are anxiety envy ennui and embarrassment and now the and now the new emotions are taking over riley and they're taking joy and the rest of her friends out of riley headquarters and now Joy and the rest of her friends have to have to work together as a team to go back to Riley headquarters to put a stop to these to put a stop to these new emotions to put a stop to these new emotions and then stop and, and and put an end to this mess and now we got our movie. Now I was really looking forward to this movie. Excuse me. So I was really looking forward to this movie. It's because ever since this movie was announced that Inside Out was getting a sequel, I was like. Yeah, so I was like, okay, let's hope this movie pulls off of what the first movie did. And I did like the trailers for this. I did like the trailers for this movie. The trailers were pretty vague. And I got and the trailers kind of got me hyped up for this movie. And I have to agree with everybody. The review embargoes for this movie was positive. And I know this movie's not as good as the first one, but I still love the hell out of this movie. But in my opinion, I love Inside Out. Now Inside Out 2. Now Inside Out 2, do I love it? Yes. I love this movie, but I think there were some things that I like, some things I don't like. I think there were like one or two things I don't like, but starting off with the positives, Inside Out 2, it's got to be like one of the best movies i ever seen all year. Now, Inside Out, now with Inside Out, now Inside Out came out nine years ago. Yeah, the first movie came out nine years ago in 2015, and I was in high school when this movie came out. And when I saw Inside Out, the first movie, for the first time, at the time, I loved the hell out of that movie. It was pretty good. And now, nine years later, we finally got a sequel, and here it is. So with that down, let's just talk about the actors and the characters themselves. Starting off with is Amy Poehler as as Joy. Now, Joy in this movie, now Joy in this movie, she's always happy, energetic, energized, like always, like she was in the first movie, including in this new one. And now when Riley feels like she's happy, Joy takes over. Yeah, Joy actually takes over until Joy has to deal with these new emotions. Now, Joy and the rest of her friends have to deal with these new emotions, but these new emotions are taking Joy and her friends out of Riley headquarters, and now they have to work together as a team to put a stop to these new emotions from taking things too far and stop taking, and also to make sure they don't, like, take over, to make sure they don't take over Riley, to, like, make sure they don't take over Riley so much, and that's it. And... And Amy Poehler is really good in this movie as Joy, and that's all I can say for Joy. Next up is Phyllis Smith as Sadness. Now, Sadness in this movie, yeah, Sadness, now Sadness in this movie, but mostly in the first movie. Now, in the first movie, Sadness, I think there's sometimes Sadness that makes some minor mistakes here and there in the first movie. I mean, I can't remember. I haven't seen the first one since theaters. But, and now Sadness is back in this new one. Sadness in this one. You know, sadness in this one, I think she's gotten a lot better in this movie. I think there was, like, one mistake that she made. I mean, I might have missed... I think I might have missed something for what she did. But I guess that's it. But sadness in this movie, whenever whenever Riley feels sad, whenever Riley feels sad, sadness actually takes over. And now sadness is dealing with the same situation. It's, it's dealing with the same... It's just dealing with the same situation that, and that her friends are dealing with. These new emotions are taking over Riley, and now they have to go put a stop to this mess. That they have to put a stop to it. And that's it. And Phyllis Smith is really good as sadness. And that's all I can say for sadness. Next up is Lewis Black as anger. Now, anger in this movie, whenever he gets really, really pissed off, whenever he gets really, really pissed off or goes in this rage mode, yeah, whenever he goes in rage mode, yeah, whenever he goes in rage, rage mode, he has fire coming out of the top of his head like he did in the first one and I think in this new one. So... And now, and now, um, whenever Riley, whenever Riley, like, feels like, whenever Riley feels the same, when Riley feels the same thing, you know, whenever she feels mad or feel like she's about to get angry, anger takes over. And now, anger is feeling, and now, anger is, take, is now dealing with the same situation as his friends are right now. And that is it. And Louis Black is really good in this movie, is, is really good in this movie as anger, and that's all I can say for anger. Next up is Maya Hawk as 
Now my now now we have my hawk as anxiety. Now anxiety in this movie, I feel like she's actually the personal antagonist for this movie because she the only thing that she wants to do is protect Riley. She wants to do is protect Riley. But then, whenever she takes things too far, yeah. Whenever she whenever she takes things too far, um, yeah. Whenever whenever I think there's some times where she takes things too far, and you're just going like anxiety, just stop, stop. And I said, what the hell, anxiety. Just stop. What are you doing? You're taking things too far. That's it. And that, that's how I look at anxiety. Now, anxiety, like I said, she's actually like the personal antagonist for this movie. And if she's actually, I think she's the only person, the only new emotion that takes over Riley, most likely. I think there, I think some, like most, like most of anxiety's friends, I think some actually take over, um, Riley as well. And that's pretty much it. Now, now my hawk is really good at anxiety. And that's all I can say for anxiety. And last but definitely not least is Paul Walter Hauser as embarrassment. Now embarrassment in this movie. Now embarrassment in this movie. Yeah. So with, with embarrassment in this film, I feel like you know I, with embarrassment, whenever he puts his hoodie on or whenever he covers his face, he he probably either feels shy or he probably doesn't want to. He probably doesn't want to hug or a pat on the back. Um, like I said, he's just a new emotion. But when Riley gets embarrassed, when we, when Riley gets embarrassed. He takes over, and that's it. And that's all I can say. And and Paul Walter Hauser is really good as embarrassment, and that's all I can say for embarrassment. And that's it for the actors and the characters themselves. So starting off with the animation style, you know how Disney and Pixar does with the animation style. Pixar does really good with their animation, with the animation style. The CG animation is great. I love the beautiful... I feel... I, I, I really like the texture. I do like the texture of the beautiful animation style of this movie and I love the animation style. The animation style is great. You can pretty much tell it in clear. You can clearly tell you can clearly tell exactly what's going on. And you can see what's going on in this movie as always, like it was in the first movie. Now I think there were some things that was taken from the first movie, like the outside of Riley's like like say there was these islands like there was these there, I think there was like these islands that was outside of Riley's headquarters that was from the first movie is now taken in this new one. I think there were new ones that was in this in this new one as well. Now to talk about the rest of this movie, I do love the pacing for this movie. This movie doesn't feel rushed. Yeah, the movie doesn't feel rushed. It doesn't feel I think it doesn't feel fast paced or slow paced or neither. I feel like this film does take its time. Now the movie does really take its time to see what's going on. Yeah, to, to, to see what's going on. So, so you can understand, you, so you can understand, so you can understand what is going on, what are these, what are these old characters, what are the art, what are our characters in the first movie doing, what are the new characters doing, what is going on. There are really cool locations that are inside Riley's mind. Now, I do like the fact that this, now I do, now I do like the fact that the locations are fantastic. I do love the I do, I do like some of the locations that was in I do like the locations that was in now the now the locations in this movie the locations in this movie are pretty cool. That was mostly takes place in in Riley's head. That were actually pretty cool. And I'm talking about with Joy when Joy in the when Joy and the rest of her when Joy and the rest of her friends they take they take this really cool event they take this really cool adventure in like outside of the headquarters they they go like they go out, they actually are trying to find a way to get back to Riley headquarters. They got, they have to find a way. They want to find a way to get back to Riley headquarters to stop these new emotions from taking things too far or stopping anxiety from taking things too far. And there are some times where Riley does make some bad decisions. She, she makes some mistakes. You don't disconnect. You don't really disconnect yourself from the character. You can, you can actually feel sympathy in her or you can actually feel sympathy from her. So there are sometimes she like I said she does make some mistakes here and there, but yeah, yeah, that's what she does. And I think there and, and also there's some times where she does make a vast improvement over the over the over the mistakes that she has done, and that is it. But for the rest of this movie, I do love the story. I do like the story for this movie as well. But I do I don't really talk about music scores, but the music the music score is great. I do love the music score from the first movie and this new one. Now I do like the musical theme I do like the music theme that was from the first movie is now taken in this new one. I think the the music theme from that was in the first movie is now taken is now in this new one. I think in this new one, the music theme from the first movie has a, has like a total has like a totally different tone than the, than it had from the first movie and that is it. So with that down, 
I guess that pretty much wraps it up for Inside Out 2. Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? If you, if you have seen it, what did you think of it? Did you like it or you didn't like it or you thought the first movie is better than this one? But with this one, I think with Inside Out, both Inside Out movies, I like both. I like both Inside Out movies. And I, like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of these movies. I enjoyed the hell out of these movies. <coughs> but with that down, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for Inside Out 2. But damn, this is actually a pretty good movie. So with that down, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for Inside Out 2. There's nothing much else to say, but so be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment, and comment down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.